Hey guys, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude. Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be unboxing the Extreme Damage Atrociraptor and Gendy Dectes figure. I was super thrilled to see these guys pop up here in Canada because they're some of the best of the Battle Damage assortment. This Atrociraptor paint job is fantastic. I love the white on the feet and the red with the stripes really stands out great. Um, the new mold is fantastic. Um, I think it's a new mold. We'll have to compare, yeah. I'll compare when it's out. It looks like a new mold. Um, I know the hands are different, I think. Oh, they might not be. Yeah, we'll, we'll see when I'm uh, <laughs> comparing, but it looks really good. Um, the back of the box art shows the Gendi in the back, as well as a Pyroraptor from the last lineup, um, and then a scan code and everything. Um, Gendi over here is really cool. So it's got this Ceratosaurus-like... Uh, horns going on in its head. Um, it's got this like large nose horn and then two above the eyes. Uh, they might be uh, crests. I think that's a better terminology for them. But it's got this stunning paint job. It's all gray. It has this blue blotch on the leg and then this spray on the neck gradually into the head which is the solid blue color. And then this kind of yellow slapped on to highlight the crests as well as it melting down in a dendritic pattern onto the uh, the rest of the uh, the top skull or jaw or whatever. But yeah, no, really cool. This one's awesome. It even has like these dewlap thingies on the neck, which like kind of connect when you open the jaw. And I love the teeth too. They really stand out. It's got a quite a big overbite as well. Um, and of course the battle damage feature is fun. It's got these tiny little arms with like four fingers on them. Um, we will be seeing a repaint and uh, a different type of figure of this guy um, coming out in the next 20, what, 2023 20, line um, with a moving jaw feature. Um, so that'll be cool. But so far, this guy's awesome. Neck articulation seals the deal for me. Um, so we'll pop these bad boys out of the packaging. I really want to see if this is... Uh, what the differences are between this Atrociraptor. I think this one is, um, what's it, Tigera? Tigra? Tiger? Tiger? Yeah, I think Panthera is the A one. Yeah. Um, so let's compare it to Ghost real quick and see if it's different. I'm pretty sure the legs are longer. Yeah, okay, right off the bat, it is different. Um, the left leg is sticking out more forward, um, and this part of the foot is a lot taller, or just a tad bit taller. Um, the arms are in different positions, they're a bit curved back in like a about to pounce sort of way, which is really nice, they're not outstretched forward. Um, the head details might be a little harder to see on Ghost, I'll take a look at this guy. Um, hmm. They look fairly similar. Um, there might be a, a slight difference in this this kind of concaved area. Um, it seems like there's more scales um, or more detail on the scales there than the basic figures, which is easy to expect. They tend to put a lot more detail into the battle damage figures. Um, let's see, the tail is not bent. It's quite straight, which I like. Um, usually Mattel tends to bend some of the tails to fit in the packaging, but this one's quite long. Um, oh, wait, are they the same? It's a bit less bent, but... Oh, they connect at different points on the tail, so that, that counts as a difference. Yeah, so uh, quite a few small differences, but they make the world in... Uh, well, in how the figure looks. I think it just stands out a lot better. Um, it has some more natural positioning to it with the arms curving back. And I love the white paint on the feet. It's kind of a fun feature. Um, I didn't really look at any of the promo art of the Atrociraptor, so I, I don't know like <laughs> how white um, its feet were in the show, but um, it definitely makes it stand out great to the other pack members. Not that they need anything else to stand out. Um, they seem to be all quite different in color. Okay, so let's get Gendi out of the package. Um, kind of short theropod. Okay. 
So this little guy, wait, we didn't show the battle damage on that. Big three, three claws, pretty neat. So this guy has the same thing going on, three claw um, scratch on one side, then two on the other. Um, the red really stands out nicely on the gray body. It's been a while since we've gotten a gray dinosaur. Um, occasionally you see like, what, Tarbosaurus, Troodon, um, I think Baryonyx had it at one point, but um, it's nice to see another gray body dinosaur in the lineup. Um, not too often we get that. The articulation on the arms is, uh, you know, the usual. Um, I don't know if the legs spread. I think they're just, they're fixated. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm not going to force it. A lot of the battle damage figures in the past would have legs that could sprawl out. I know this figure does not have sprawling legs. Um, they're just forward and back. It seems like Mattel might have just scrapped that all together um, with this line. But... I, I can see why. It's it's not too necessary. The figures seem to stand well on their own regardless. Um, and neck articulation is great on this figure. You can make him look up, down, all around, side chomp. Um, really great with that. I love the, uh, the battle damage figure's neck articulation because I do a lot of photography. So it makes for some great positioning on these figures. The head detail is fantastic. I love the little pebbling of scales. Um, these crests also have a nice kind of rigid um, look to them with all these lines going through them. Um, they're shiny as the paint is actually like this computer printed on sort of deal which we've seen on like uh, the Dilophosaurus frills and stuff and some smaller dinosaur details on the face are usually done in the same fashion, so it's a lot more shiny. The eyes are really cute. They remind me of, I don't know, some theropod out of the Jurassic. It's It's got that vibe to it. And again, the dewlaps are fantastic. I love how they kind of connect when you open the jaw, and then when you close it, they still look pretty natural. The rest of the body's kind of like this cheaper, um, consistent scale pattern um, that gets a little larger on the thigh but is generally the same size down to the tail. It does have this kind of um, abelosaur armor that a lot of um, Mattel's theropods tend to have when they're on this side of the family. Um, I'm not actually sure what group this guy's a part of, <laughs> but I'll look into it later. Maybe I'll do another review. But the, um, the scan code actually is pretty flush with the... Um, the little spikes down the back, little nodes. Same with the battle damage feature. Doesn't look too bad. Um, this could have been done better, but it's, I'm not too bothered by it. Um, if you look at it from afar, it doesn't stand out too much. So yeah, no. Um, oh, shoot. Other complaint. Okay. Um, I didn't see this while it was in the package, but there's um, <laughs> some of the beige paint kind of went up the neck a bit. Um, so it was in the package like this, so of course I didn't see. But whatever, um, probably a lot of them have it, so it's not that big of a deal. I'll just have to uh, <laughs> just take photos from this angle. You'll probably get rid of it, but I, d I haven't seen these guys in stores recently, so I don't know how easy it'll be to find another one if it does like be a problem, but I'm not too picky with my figures. I do like to uh, pick ones with good eyes, Sometimes Mattel had a problem in the past with the uh, eyes never being on the right spot, but it seems like they fixed that up in recent years, so nothing too worried about when choosing these guys. So yeah, no, the uh, Wave 2 lineup is fantastic. Just two fig- or Wave 3 rather, but just two figures. Um, again, really nice. It makes it easier to collect these guys because um, I'd rather buy two than buy four, seeing as I'm uh, trying to buy them all. So. It makes it cheaper on me. <laughs> um, we'll quickly line up all the raptors in a uh, little pack formation. Put her there. No, it looks perfect with them. Um, it really stands out a little bit due to the, I don't know, darker color of the na darker nature of the the color. But um, regardless, they look fantastic. I love their paint jobs. Very iconic. Um, and I can't wait to do some photography with these guys when all the snow's melted. I live up in Alberta, so right now we're going through a pretty heavy winter, but um, 
I'll get back to that in a few months, hopefully. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, make sure to check out my other videos if you want to see more unboxings and reviews like this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one then. Bye-bye.